And on to this week's second venue, Central Kitchen. From fried pickles to fig flatbreads, Central Kitchen has it all when it comes to industrial chic in downtown Detroit. It's a vibrant gastro pub that celebrates social hour and so much more. I'm Dennis Archer and I'm the managing partner here at Central Kitchen and Bar. When we created Central Kitchen and Bar from an idea standpoint, probably four years ago, we wanted to have something that was very approachable, uh, but had elements of the fine dining experience. And so when we were able to first identify our chef, which is the key to the whole process, Christina Stanko, so we worked with her to create a menu here uh, that was very approachable, but elevated. And then we enhanced that menu with the decor that you see around us to really capture the aesthetic of this 1920s building, uh, but with some modern elements to it. So when you put it all together, the atmosphere and the food, it's a very approachable, modern dining experience. Our menu is incredible. I mean, we have, uh, some would say, the best burgers in town. We have some great salads, and we have great specials each and every day for lunch and for dinner. Particularly the foodies, they come into the restaurant, they want to know where do we get our vegetables? Is our meat sourced locally? Are we supporting local Detroit businesses? Yes, yes, yes. So we're very happy to support, not only on the food side, but also on the vet beverage side, supporting local distilleries uh, and local beer producers. We have a great staff here at Central. Many of the people on our team have been with us since the day we opened and they're still here today contributing to our success, contributing to our customer experience. It's a very diverse crowd. We're most proud about that and how we've built our business over the past three years. Central Kitchen is, uh, it's been around for a while. It's a fun place, I love it. Um, it's, it's vibrant, like we've been using uh, that adjective, but it's, um, you know, it's bright and it's, it's just busy. It's busy. It had kind of an industrial feel to mm -hmm. it, with the music going and the decor of the place. Mm -hmm. Not what I was expecting, I thought it was going to be different than it was in there, mm -hmm. but what a great place. What'd you have? Norwegian salmon. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it was great. It had, um, coconut milk and green curry and it was on this bed of bean sprouts and vegetables. It was it sort of had a Thai flavor to it because it had that coconut milk and the curry so it had a sweetness to it but a little bit of spice. I couldn't tell what was making it just a little little hot but it was great and then the bean sprouts underneath were like crunchy and there was some vegetables stir-fried like shredded vegetables so it was just this bright colorful the salmon was done perfectly it was great how about you i had the beet salad so actually what was the description of the beet salad i'm like oh i love everything in this salad the field greens and the um the feta cheese and the olives oh wonderful i'm like I think I want everything in the beet salad but the beets. <laughs> so the waiter said, you know what, you really should try our beets. Those were some of the best beets I've ever had. Really? And they oh, do a special even... marinating process. I said, how did you, because I want to try to reverse engineer it at home mm -hmm. if I can. But um, they, they have some marinating process that just takes it to another level. So then I topped it with the salmon. So the salmon was perfectly cooked, perfectly medium and seasoned well by itself would have been phenomenal, but on top of the salad, it was, it was exquisite. We started with the onion soup, which was unbelievably great. We had also the calamari. This was a calamari dish like we've never had before. It was the, I think, a soy glaze to it, so it was glistening and shiny. They had little oranges and cashews and I think some peppers on there and jalapenos. and the stack with the green on top. It was visually beautiful from the colors and just wonderful. It wasn't that chewy calamari. It was just unbelievable. I also ordered the shrimp and grits. Quite the kick to it. Cajun, you know, Cajun flavored shrimp and the grits and some veggies in there and some peppers. Once again, visually beautiful from the colors and everything else, but a, quite a good quite a good kick and I couldn't finish it so there was no room for dessert ah. it was something my wife had the braised <laughs> beef bourgeonnaise <laughs> and it just beef and noodles that's right. the way to say it but it was going from my spicy shrimp and grits to trying hers 
and it was like going from a jalapeno to a having a bite of an apple or something. So it was totally different mm -hmm. things. But we were both so stuffed, we brought meals home. I had this great drink while I was down there. I think it was called Some Like It Hot. And it was a mezcal based drink and it was infused with jalapeno. And it was rimmed with some kind of spicy pepper. I don't know if it was cayenne. I've been on a little bit of a hot kick lately. Mm. It was so good. It was delicious. It was spicy, but it wasn't undrinkable. Mm -hmm. um, and as you went further into the drink, the spicier it got because there was a big round green jalapeno, jalapeno oh slice gosh. in wow. the drink. So it wow. became more and more infused mm -hmm. as you went on, but it was really a great drink. I was there for lunch, so I didn't get to have a cocktail that day, <laughs> um, but uh, did have a, a delicious, more like a mocktail. Mm -hmm. um, so they have a lot of options if you're drinking, a, if you want something non-alcoholic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I had dessert there and I had this great thing that I'd never had before. I think it was called a peanut butter semifreddo, semifreddo, something oh, right. I'd never heard mm -hmm. of before. Mm -hmm. So I went to give it a try and it was great. It was like this frozen, semi-frozen, almost a Cool Whip texture, but it was peanut butter and maybe Nutella, and then it was covered in chocolate and chocolate cookie crumbs oh all over gosh. the bottom. Wow. It was fantastic, it was beautiful. It just, it looked beautiful. It was just a really interesting dessert and I never it tried it before. It was, it was someplace I would go again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And like 2941 as well, there was outdoor seating mm -hmm. and indoor seating. Mm -hmm. Perfect place to stop and have a drink. Central Kitchen is located at 660 Woodward Avenue in Detroit. They're open seven days a week at 11 a.m. and you can check out their website at centraldetroit.com.